super powerful solar storm around 2012 could be devastating. Scientists worry that we aren't prepared for an event that could zap the government and cost trillions and trillions of dollars or more. U.S. scientists worry we aren't ready for a solar space storm that could knock out our electricity, our cell phones, even our water supply. It is a possibility as we move into an active period of solar storms. And how do they know? Well, it's happened before. Back in 1859, a solar eruption resulted in telegraph wires burning up. But of course, they didn't have an electrical grid back then. They didn't have satellites. They didn't have telephones. And now the world is covered in wires and wireless devices that could be vulnerable. The National Academy of Sciences, NAS, gathered experts from around the country to look at the economic and social costs from these space storms. And while they didn't make any recommendations, the scientists hope their report is a wake-up call a big wake-up call. We're not trying to scare people, said Dan Baker, who is the lead author of the report, but we are trying to show how our systems are interconnected. The sun is on a fairly regular schedule. Every 11 years, solar activity flares up. The next maximum active period is expected in 2012. And during those active times, the Sun spits out billions of tons of matter toward Earth that can cause electromagnetic storms, EMP, that, interf that interfere with just about all of our electronic systems. How bad? How bad would a Katrina space storm be for us Earthlings? Well, the NAS report suggests the storm could cascade through our entire modern world. First, the electric grid would be vulnerable and could be shut down entirely. It's the first big domino that the report says could lead to massive disruption of the transportation, communication, banking, and finance systems, and all government services, the breakdown of the distribution of potable water or drinking water owing to pump failure, and the loss of perishable foods and medications because of lack of refrigeration, and it would be very difficult or very hard to bring all these systems back up again and it would take quite a bit of time. This is not a pretty picture. The scientists say if even one region or country is affected, the problems could spread to the rest of the world very quickly. And if you thought Katrina was expensive, this space storm, solar space storm, would easily dwarf it. The report estimates it would cost trillions of dollars during the first year alone for the societal and economic costs of a severe geomatic, geomagnetic storm scenario with recovery times of four to ten years, perhaps at the minimum. Might have to go back to analog. That's nice. Now that they're going to convert the TVs to digital satellites and GPS systems could be knocked out. As ABC's Clayton Sandell 
has written for this site before. Solar storms could make GPS receivers unable to lock onto a satellite signal, rendering them totally useless. The effect could last for minutes, hours, or many days. People could be reduced to stopping to ask for directions. The civilian use of GPS has really taken off only in the last few years, so we really do expect to see a much wider impact in this upcoming cycle," said a solar physicist at the Space Weather Prediction Center in Colorado, run by the National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration. Sales of so-called personal navigation devices have skyrocketed in recent years. In 2004, worldwide sales of GPS units were approximately 2 million. By 2007, that number had jumped to approximately 27 million. A failure of the GPS system could have very serious ramifications for flying. The Federal Aviation Administration is trying to move to an air traffic control system based on GPS. And in the meantime, the United States is not making a lot of plans for the next big solar storm. Actually, they're not really planning for it at all. Our society, our modern society, isn't geared toward dealing with these kinds of possibilities. We are more concerned with short-term possibilities, mostly today, tomorrow. Solar weather isn't like the weather here on Earth. Meteorologists can track a storm on Earth for days and give people plenty of warning of what is coming. But that's not the case with space weather. We can't predict the coming space storm with any great lead time of accuracy. What he and his colleagues can predict is that we are not ready for the big one when it comes to solar storms," said Baker. This is about a new study from the National Academy of Sciences commissioned and funded by NASA. And once again, it reveals a very grave threat for Earth if a worst case scenario solar storm does occur. And once again, it's expected to come around 2012. Damage to power grids and other communication systems could be catastrophic, the scientists conclude. And sooner or later there will be a solar storm much more powerful than any seen so far in the age of high technology. Even going back to 2003, ten major solar flares over a two-week period, knocking out two Earth orbiting satellites and crippling an instrument aboard a Mars orbiter. But the worst storms can knock out power grids by inducing currents that melt, yes melt, transformers. And modern power grids, again, are so interconnected that a big space storm, a type expected to occur approximately once a century would cause a cascade of failures that would sweep across the United States, cutting power to at least 130 million people or more in this country alone. Impacts would be felt on interdependent infrastructures with, for example, all the potable water distribution systems, perishable foods and medications lost in 12 to 24 hours, immediate or eventual loss of heating, air conditioning, sewage disposal, phone servers, transportation, fuel resupply, and so forth and so on, the report concludes. And again, outages could take months, perhaps years, to fix. The scientists say banks could close and trade with other countries, all other countries, might possibly halt. Yes, and this is about 2012 something bigger is going on here and people can even imagine.
And all these are more signs of the end times transition days.